Hi, I'm Dr. Malay. I want to thank all of you for being here with me today. Listen, what I want to do is I want to discuss, if we can, a real specific topic that is a problem for a lot of people throughout the world, and it's called adrenal dysfunction. It's when your body is having such a difficult time coping with the stresses and the, the things that you're putting on it that it's actually beginning to shut down or to, is to, to it's almost like a, a bad wiring job. All of a sudden the wires are getting a little bit crossed here and here and you're, you're ending up having a situation where you're not functioning appropriately. So bottom line is let's just break this down a little bit. When you look at adrenal function, it's important to understand that your adrenals are there and they're directly under the control of the chemistry in your body directed by another gland called the pituitary, and also what is called the autonomic nervous system, which is the nervous system that controls the balance between the gas pedal and the brake with all of the organs and all the, the things that automatically happen in your system. There are two different aspects of this nervous system. One is called sympathetic, it's kind of like the gas. The other one is called parasympathetic, which is kind of the hold back, or we'll call it the brake. Never in any way, you know, time do you want to have the gas and the brake on at the same time. They kind of play off of each other going in this direction. Well, when you put stress onto your system, they're going to be directing what happens, but at the same time, part of that direction comes back to the adrenals to say, hey, look, <laughs> you've got a situation, we need an extra boost, let's kick up some, some energy here and let's get a certain couple different things going on you know, or happening inside of the body. Let me give you an example. I used to have a, an office up on a, on a pretty busy road. They called it a residential road, but in front of it was a 45 to 50 mile an hour zone. And you'd imagine you're driving along and it's fairly busy and in front of you is a, is a you know, nice yard but you've got a little four-year-old out playing with a soccer ball in front of the driveway. All of a sudden, he or she kicks the soccer ball and it rolls into the street. Well, you're driving along, checking out your stereo or whatever you're doing, doing 50 miles an hour, and you look up and you see this four-year-old chasing after this ball that's rolling out in the middle of the street. What do you do? Well, obviously, you pick up your foot, take it off the gas, and you slam it as hard as you can onto that brake to get you to stop. I've seen it where I've had patients come in following that kind of a situation or an accident situation where they've actually broken bones in their feet from slamming it so hard onto the brake. But as you hit that brake and the car does this thing, but it stops and the child's three feet in front of you there with its ball, you get out of the car, you walk up front, and you don't know whether to, you know, give them a spanking or to, you know, give them a big hug. And obviously you give them the hug. But one thing is for sure is you're walking them over to their house. You're shaking. Your body turned around and used your adrenals or the hormone or the chemical that's created inside of your body to be able to cope with these kind of situations. It's going. And you feel it and you're going to feel it for some time thereafter. Well, that type of experience happens to every single one of us on a daily basis, whether we know it or not. Let me show you a real simple analogy. Let's say, for example, in the morning at 8 a.m., I have breakfast. Now, the normal American breakfast is usually a bowl of Cheerios or a bowl of cereal in some way, shape, or form. If not, you'll have toast, you may have orange juice, all of which are sugar-based or carbohydrate-based. Now, that being the case, this breakfast that you just consumed is going to be spiking your blood sugar quite high in such a way that your body responds to it by pumping out a specific hormone that will take the blood sugar and pull it into the system or into the cells. What's it called? Insulin. We've all heard of this. Well, insulin comes in and insulin will drop this blood sugar. In fact, it drops it so low that sometimes you get to a point as what's called hypoglycemic or a, a temporary state of hypoglycemia. In other words, you go past normal and you're sitting down into the I don't feel too good zone. 
or I don't have energy. Well, this all happens, so by 10 o'clock, your body at this point is saying, we need a break. So we'd go over to the work, you know, to the candy machines at work or the pop or the soda or whatever the case is that most people do at 10 o'clock in the morning, and they do the same thing. They load up with sugar, spikes it up, we have an insulin response, pulls it back down. This happens day in and day out, doing this whole scenario. This creates a problem for the body. It's because of the type of foods that we're eating, how the body responds, it will cause a burnout to happen, specifically in the adrenals. Why? Because when you draw below this line, the only way that you're functioning is for your body to send a signal down to the adrenal gland quickly to say, please create enough hormone to turn us around so we can keep functioning. Give us the ability to function. How many of you ever had the after lunch blues? It's kind of like you have lunch and you're going, well, I wish I could go home now. Just about that time, it's time for break. Where do you go? You go fill up on the sugar again. And it, or you reach for the, the energy drinks that give you that, you know, uh, temporarily fix, you know, that temporary fix. So bottom line is this is only possible by creating a stress in the adrenal glands. Two things need to happen. You got to fix the problem by putting a lot more protein into your diet so it's a gradual curve here instead of this spike up and down. But also you need to take a look at the adrenals and say, okay, have I been doing this for a long period of time? I'm 45 years of age. Have I been doing this for 43 of my years? You know, whenever I was, you know, uh, weaned off of breastfeeding, all of a sudden now I'm putting into a sugar only type of diet with a, a rare amount of protein. I'm doing this spike thing forever. So that's just an example of how the adrenals are being fatigued all throughout our life. A lot of other different situations, whether it's familial problems, all different stresses that happen. Um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to reach for the marker here, but I'm going to show you that there are three different phases that your adrenals will go in in, in, in being a, a problem. You have, we'll call it healthy zone here, and as they become stressed, that is the first step. They become stressed. This is called adrenal stress. Now this step here requires a different, separate, very unique set of uh, criteria or things to actually fix it. They're pretty easy to pull you back into the zone. Usually it has to do with certain micronutrients, specifically B vitamins, and the way they're put together in such a way that it's very easy to drag you back into the healthy zone. But if you let it sit there, you will go into what is called adrenal fatigue, meaning that your adrenals now are tired. They're just kind of going, oh my heavens, I got to do this again? And it becomes more and more a consistent or persistent type of problem that the body has to deal with. This again requires a whole different set of fixes to get it resolved the way it's supposed to. If you leave it alone and you do not resolve the issue and bring it back to this zone here, you go to step three, which is called the adrenal exhaustion. I write kind of fast, so if you can read my writing, good for that, but that's, that is exhaustion. That right there, you know that you're in adrenal trouble. You probably shut down. You got chronic fatigue so bad you don't want to get out of bed in the morning. You're on antidepressants. You've got a whole slew of problems going on here that you wouldn't have had in this arena here. And people that are in that point, they know it quite well. And there are specific things that you have to do at this point to drag you back to get you back into the health zone. Bottom line is, each one of these are preventable by your lifestyle. Number one, I'm going to highly recommend exercise, highly recommend putting more protein into your diet. But also, if there's a problem, you've got to deal with it. At this point here, there's a product I found called Stress Complex. 
that has to be able, the ab ability to deal with just specifically this one area. Very simple, very easy to do. A lot of it are essential vitamins that you're needing in your body inside of each cell to redirect and boom, bring you back into this healthy zone. If you leave it at this point, this is all you need, or you attack it at this point, you're in good shape. If not, you're going to go here. There's a product here called ADR, and ADR contains all of this plus support to actually assist that adrenal gland in healing and give you an extra, an extra boost that you're needing of adrenal substance to actually promote this moving in the right direction. If you leave it alone, you're going to be needing more adrenal support at this point, and there's a third product that fits in over there, and it's just basically adding more adrenal substance at this point here. Now all of these things, all these little resolves are simple if you change your lifestyle. So you've got to change the lifestyle, you need to exercise, you need to hydrate your body the way you're supposed to appropriately, have essential vitamins and nutrients, minerals, greens, there's a whole list. I'm going to do another video actually on essentials. But the bottom line is, those are the things that if you ignore them, you're going to get into this game if you eat inappropriately and everything else that I've talked about. But to get back, you need to take a look at the website that's probably posted down below me and say, look, I've got a problem and I need these resolved. Now understand, I'm not going to give you a suggestion of something to take that I haven't either A, taken myself or given my patients and seen miraculous results happen. That's what counts. It's all about making a difference. It's always all about getting you back on a different, healthier lifestyle. So, I'm Dr. Mullane. I thank you very much.